Well, I can talk to you, but I don't feel comfortable with you filming me. So if you want to shut them off, I... That I can't do because once I, what we do is, is when I turn it, I turn it on before I walk in and I don't turn it off until I leave. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. For so is there somebody time. else I could speak to that might not feel uncomfortable? Um, I can ask. Okay. I'd rather not be filmed though. Well, Amy was going to get somebody that didn't mind being filmed. Well, none of us want to be. We received a call from somebody from City Hall saying they don't want to show you inside filming. Oh, I did not. They didn't want that. us inside filming what? Where? Inside City Hall. And they I was told they told you to put the cameras away. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press, and we are coming to you today from Mesquite, Nevada, City Hall. Um, We're gonna pay a little visit on these folks today here at the Mesquite City Hall and find out if they honor and respect our right to take photographs and video in public and from publicly accessible areas of public buildings and uh, see if they honor the First Amendment. I'm out with Watching the Watchmen today. The beautiful statue here. Let me give you a little time and temperature check. Today is Wednesday, February 26th. Local time in Mesquite, Nevada is 2.50 in the afternoon and it is 62 degrees and sunny. Beautiful day. Let me give you a little look at the neighborhood and the outside of the building here. It's a beautiful building. Palm trees, old glory waving in the breeze as she should. And a beautiful adobe building for their city hall. So let's go inside and see if the inside and the folks that work here are as beautiful as the outside. Ready, Watchman? Yeah. Let's see how it is. Firearms are not allowed in this building. Violators will be prosecuted. All clear. Well, oh, it's warm in here. So have a public notice board over here. They have a uh, board for employment opportunities with the city. And then this is administration, mayor, city manager, and city attorney. Might have to ring the bell. Yeah, maybe. So they have their fees right here for court transcripts and uh, copies of records and that kind of thing. How are you? No, no problem at all. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Can I just ask what your name is and what you do here? What's for? Well, I'm just traveling with my son and we're just out uh, meeting folks and first time we've ever been in Mesquite. Are you filming me? We are. Yeah, I'm filming the whole building. Oh, sweet. Yeah. My name's Jason, by the way. This is my son, Ben. Nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah. So we just like to meet the folks and you know we travel around the country and that's we just like to touch ground and meet the folks at the local city governments and Maybe ask if there's any place you could direct a couple of lost tourists and anything interesting to see in town. And, um, you know, I just always like to introduce myself and okay. say hello. Okay, I'm Amy. Okay, nice to meet you, Amy. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, same here. Yeah, um, the information desk is over there. I don't know, like, what you guys are looking for. I just mean, I don't know. Are you from Mesquite? I, no, I'm from... Logandale. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't even know where that is. Yeah. So, yeah, no. We just, you know, if you, you, I try to avoid all like the classic tourist spots. I don't even know if you have any. But I, we, when we 
meet local people and we come into municipal buildings. That's why part of what we do is I like to ask what's good in town, maybe if you could recommend a good place to eat, if there's a museum or anything interesting to see. Well, I can talk to you, but I don't feel comfortable with you filming me, so if you want to shut them off, I that I can't do because once I what we do is is when I turn it I turn it on before I walk in and I don't turn it off until I leave. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. For so is there somebody else I could speak to that might not feel uncomfortable? Um, I can ask. Okay. Yeah. Is, is maybe is the city manager or the mayor available or any? I'll check. Okay. Thanks. What is it? Oh, the eagle. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool. I saw that when we walked in. I want to get a picture of that. Is there a uh, city manager card here? It's a community resource manager, yeah, city, city manager attorney. Up here, top oh, two. there you go. Okay, so we'll grab one each of those. Alan Lippman and Aaron Baker. Cool. But it would be nice if we could get a little, a uh, little more info. You know. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Maybe she quit one all. <laughs> I don't know where she went. Can I help you? Hello. Yes, hi. Is the city manager available by any chance? Um, I, I can ask him, but what is this regarding? Well, Amy just went to ask. I don't know if she was unable to reach What's anybody. This oh, we're just a couple. I've never been in Mesquite before. Uh, it's our first trip here. I'm traveling with my son. And we just like to, when we're traveling, go into municipalities and meet the folks that run the local government and see if there's any... Uh, I'd rather not be filmed, though. Well, Amy was going to get somebody that didn't mind being filmed. Well, none of us want to be. None of you want to be. So the city manager won't come out because we have cameras? That's fine if that's his, if that's, that's his choice. So you're just passing through town? Yes. Never been here before. Okay. We live in Colorado. Yeah, from Colorado. Yep. Okay. From New York originally, but we live in Colorado now. Okay. Yeah. And you're just here for the day? Well, I don't know how long we're going to stay. I don't, I'm not sure. Depends. Depends how friendly you guys are. <laughs> I might have to jump back in the truck and hightail it out of here. All right. Oh, it's the scary camera. Does it to everyone? Yeah, I don't get it. You obviously don't seem to care. I think I look good. You do look good. It's a nice suit. Yeah, no, I appreciate you, man. Right on. My name's Jason, by the way. Jason, I'm Jay. Pleasure to meet you, Jay. Nice to meet you. Ben. Nice ben? Nice you. Yeah, sweet. I'm from uh, Wapa Valley down the road. I don't know if you guys know where that is. No. It's uh, 30 minutes from here. Okay. On your way to Vegas. So. Wapa, and you work for the government there? or? I'm going to be working here. Oh, you are? Cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. In what capacity? Um, in the law department. Oh, okay. Cool. So. Uh, oh, an internship. Very cool. What I can do is make an appointment for you to talk to the mayor, but he's not here right now. So can I get your contact information? And the city manager doesn't want to come out? He's, he is not available right now. Okay, I'm just asking. You don't have to bite my head off. Are you guys upset about I the camera? Are you really that upset about a camera? I don't, I don't really don't want to be filmed. Okay, that's your choice. That's just, you know, if, I mean, if that's how the city of Mesquite treats people that come in off the highway, that's up to you. No, that has nothing to do with it. I don't want anyone coming in and filming me. That's your choice. Okay. Okay. I mean, you're, you're a public employee and we're in a public area, so... We could debate that all day long, but I'm not going to give you a hard time about it. If you don't want to be filmed, I'll go well, talk to somebody else that doesn't mind. Is that I can make an appointment for you to talk to the mayor. I don't know how long I'm going to be in town, ma'am. I'm traveling across the country, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be here or not. And I'm, I'm here now. So if nobody's available, nobody's available. It's okay. I can, if, I, if you want to give me your contact information, I can uh, get a hold of the mayor, and then you can meet with him. When would he, what, he's going to come in now? I don't know. I need to ask him. Okay, well, do you want to give him a call and see if he's available? Let me know. I'll go take a look around the rest. Well, I'm not going to sit here and give you all my details for no reason. Why would okay. I do that? Okay. You don't want to be on film. I don't like, like giving out my personal information. Right? Okay. Okay. So that's all. I mean, you, you listen, you can I, respond I, any way you like. I, I'm just I, asking you a question. I'm just going to go back because the mayor is my boss. So okay. I'm going to make an appointment for you to meet with the mayor. Well, like I said, I don't know. I mean, if you can tell me he's going to be available in the next hour or so, I'd be happy to make an appointment with him. But if he's not going to be available until tomorrow, I might not be here. That's okay. all. 
All right, but no problem. I don't want to give you a hard time. If that's the end of the conversation, that's the end of the conversation. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And we thank you for your assistance and take care. Tell Amy we said thank you very much. I hope you straighten these guys out when you get the job, Jay. Have a good one. You know the law, right? <laughs> have a good day. Wow, okay. That's a fine start for Mesquite, Nevada. The city manager is there and doesn't want to come out. That's interesting. Sanitation. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. So is it information or sanitation? It's cold, depending on what you need. <laughs> cool. We're just actually, I, we're traveling. I'm with my son. My name's Jason. Hello. This is my son, Ben. Nice Hello. to meet you. And uh, we've just never been in Mesquite, Nevada before, so okay. we're just checking it out. Nice. Yeah. From? Well, originally from New York, but we live in Colorado now. Okay. Yeah. So, nice weather for you guys today. Oh, we, this trip has been sunny and like this the whole trip nice. for days for us. Yeah, we've been lucky. That's lucky, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we appreciate you very much. And let me just, we went into the city manager's office and they kind of were, people get upset when we're filming, but you obviously don't care. Yeah, whatever. And I'll tell you what, your smile and cordial demeanor is a much nicer welcome to your city than they are. So Thank maybe you. maybe we can, what's your name? Courtney. Courtney, my name is Jason. Nice to meet you. So maybe Courtney for mayor. Oh, you know? yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> No, but we, you know what? It really, for two people that you know, just came off the highway and were traveling, it's nice to come in and have a warm welcome and just have people be pleasant. Well, we can help that. And we appreciate you. Thank you. Take care. Good have a great day. Have fun. City clerk. Oh, there's the, uh, the eagle. I walked right by it. That's cool. That's very cool. Catching the wind. It's a beautiful building. If I worked here, I'd be in a good mood, I think. Unless I had to work with the city manager's office. Yes. Hi. Hello again. Hey, how are you? Never met before, saw you twice in two minutes. Let's see if the city clerk's available. Yeah, is, is it a he, he or she? It's she. She, her okay. Her name's Tracy. Oh, great. Awesome. I'll call her for you. Well, I'll call her for you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, there are some gentlemen who would like to see you. Okay. She's coming right up. Thank you, Courtney. You're welcome. Appreciate you. Oh, look at this postcard. This is cool. That's very cool. Yeah, that's cool. Hi, Hi how are you? You're the city clerk? Uh, well, may I ask your name? Tracy? Was yes. that what she said? My name is Jason Tracy. Okay. Nice to meet you. And I'm traveling with my son, Ben, here. Hi. Hi, son, Ben. And we've never been in Mesquite, Nevada before. First time here. Wow. So, uh, I mean, it looks like a beautiful little spot. Mm -hmm. And you have a very beautiful city hall here. Thank you. Yeah. So we're just coming in. We, uh, just so you know, I mean, I'm sure it's kind of strange for you for a couple of people to walk in with cameras and really have no official business that we're looking Not to really, conduct. But it's okay. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. Um, but what we do is, you know, a, a lot of people like to take pictures of different things. Some people like to take pictures of trains. Some people like to go to Disney World. We like to, when we travel, go to municipalities and we like to go into the local governments and mm -hmm. meet the folks that are making the wheels turn and, you know, put our feet on the ground and get some advice of what to do in town and just speak to folks. And we're kind of, you know, making memories and See, we can do that way. Okay. So if there's anything you can tell us about your wonderful little city here, is it a city or a town? Oh, it's a city. City, okay. We're incorporated in 1984. Okay. Uh, we now are a charter city, so part of the NRS and Nevada regulatory statutes don't apply to us because we have our own. And what does that mean, NRS? NRS is Nevada regulatory statutes. It's like the laws of Nevada. Okay. They go from zero, you know, zero. 100 to 900, you know, anything, how, what the rules are, or, you know, like open meeting law and public information require, you know, stuff like that. Right. Uh, financing and all that stuff. And you guys have your own set of rules apart from that is what you're saying? Yeah. Wow, it's very interesting. charter. Okay. So that gives us, um, but we have to take it to the legislation. And get everything approved. And get everything approved. Of course. That's always like. Yeah, that takes a minute. Right. <laughs> yeah, a minute and a half. And, but once it's approved, then we, we have the right to, you know, say, okay, on these particular articles, these are, we are, we're sort of self-governing in that point. Right. And do they seem to be amiable and work with you and give you what you want? It just takes a little time and to get it there? They question it. They question Sure. Well, that's their job. That's yeah. their job. Yeah. And speaking of jobs, how long have you been city manager, if you don't mind uh, me asking? I'm not city manager. I'm city clerk. I'm sorry. City clerk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let me think. October of 
2015, I became city clerk. I was the deputy city clerk from 2013 to 2015. Oh, okay. And were you with the city government before that, or that was? I worked at UCLA. Oh, you did. <laughs> wow, this is a switch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not stuck in traffic coming in. No. Going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I five minutes before I'm due here. It, is it really true in LA that this is like gridlock 24 hours a day? It's really? Pretty much now. Wow. It's just so much. So you moved here for a little more tranquility? I retired from UCLA and I moved here and worked a couple places here and then came here. But it's just a slow, it's it's nice to be able to, people, you know, to breathe. Neighbors, yeah. And, you know, you're a lot more friendlier. Yeah, yeah. In a large city. And I was born in Los Angeles, so. Oh, okay. You know, I know what it's like, but it's, it's. And I'll, I have family there, and I go there, and I see more cars in five minutes than I do usually in a week and a half here. So That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when the snowbirds are here. Gotcha. So it's 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 a great, great city, and we have, um, you know, a lot of good things for for different age groups. Yeah, no, it seems that way. I mean, we just literally pulled into town half an hour ago. Oh, okay. um, but, yeah, no, it seems that way. It's very, it's nice. It seems very nice. We're gonna, you know, ride around, just check things out, and mm -hmm. yeah. But it looks beautiful. Yeah, um, and we're we're starting to grow again. So everywhere, all these little places that are little gems are getting discovered. Well, that, One, and the recession now, you know, the recession hit hard here with little. Sure. Yeah. Now we're coming growing, back, yeah, bouncing real back. Yeah, right now was booming. Wow. What do you attribute that to? Uh, the the boom the. the <laughs> No, I, don't, I mean like the rebound. Oh, uh, just the rebound is is people were more comfortable. You know, real estate was a you know a thing, and they start and people started coming back here and saying, "Hey, I think I want to live here." Yeah. I had a gentleman came in about a month or two ago, and he goes, "My wife and I bought a home here because we're snowbirds, so we would spend three months here and go home." Right. Uh, or six or six months here and six months at home. Then it became nine months here and three months at home. Right. We're selling our house. Right, right, right. And now we're going to live here. Right. And we'll tolerate the hot weather for that's three months. Right. Yeah. Um, well. And yeah. Yeah. You have air conditioning. Everything is. Okay. How hot? I mean, it gets up to a hundred, hundred and ten, probably, right? Hundred and ten to fifteen. So wow. On some, pending on the year. Feels like somebody's just got a hair dryer aimed at your head the whole day. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You go from your air-conditioned home to your air-conditioned car to your air-conditioned store. I always wonder, like I say to myself, does that save you money? Because if it's 110 degrees outside, right, you set your AC on 85, it must feel cool in the house. Yeah, pretty much. Right? I have solar panels, so. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's sure, really, because the days are longer and the sun gets absorbed. And, right. But, um, but then you have this in February. I have this in February, and we're a couple degrees cooler than normal. Um, we're going to have more rain I think coming Sunday Monday so it'll drop down yeah. back in the lower 60s. Is rain must be a welcome thing here? Yeah I'm sure. Yeah well that's awesome. Yeah Yeah. no and I appreciate that all because I uh, as I get older I'm looking to move further and further away from large cities yeah. and I want to be out in the rural areas and that kind of thing. Hello. Hey, can I ask what's going on? Oh no they're they're just uh, tourists. Oh, okay yeah because our, our we received a call from somebody from City Hall saying they don't want you inside filming. Oh, I did not. They didn't want that. us inside filming what? Where? Inside City Hall. And they, I was told they told you to put the cameras away. Somebody said that they didn't want us filming inside of City Hall. That's correct. Okay, so and how, how do you how do you feel about that? No, th how did, did were you approached beforehand? No, what happened was we went into the city manager's office. Uh -huh. There was a young lady named Amy. Okay. who was at the front uh -huh. she said she wasn't comfortable being on camera so I said to her well is it possible you can find somebody that is so she went in the back to find somebody else somebody else came out she said she didn't want to be on camera I said well that's your choice if you don't want to be on camera see you later and we came and spoke to Courtney and then we came to see you so yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, officer well that's a shame because you and I were having a wonderful conversation okay, but, and, and you can still have but I did not know I did not like know said, that background some, that you had already been in, if in you want to have a great conversation that's that's fantastic okay but I was told that they don't want you in here coming well but that's this is a public building but anybody who works here has a right to tell you that they don't want you in here filming I don't think that's the case you sure about that 
That's what I'm told. Well, that's you might want to check well, let's with us. Let's go outside and talk. Why don't you go with the gentleman? Then? Sure. Well, I'm sorry we got interrupted, but I appreciate your cordial welcome to your city. Thank you very much. Welcome. To All right. Thank you, Tracy. Have a good day. And I'm sorry, can I just get your name badge number? Officer Ruth, 6189. 6189. Correct. Let's okay. just go here and talk. Yeah, sure. Let's go out in the lobby. Go ahead. Okay. So that's interesting. What's let's, the... Let's uh, just go walk out here. Okay. Well, I'd rather stay here and just talk. There's nobody around. We're not disturbing anybody. Okay, well, my camera's on too. Okay. That's good. You should... So camera should be on. Where, where are you guys from? Let me ask you, what is the issue with this filming in here? Is there a legal issue? As far as legal issue, I'm not... 100%. So why don't we check on that? Why don't well, we call the sergeant and see if I'll, we can just I'll, verify that? Can I continue to speak or are you going to cut me off? Okay. So what I'm saying... I don't know. Do you want to let me answer that? I'm kidding. Let's just when, lighten up well, and let our shoulders down. And, and that's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm tra I'll tell you what I'm doing. I okay. Understand. I'm yeah. traveling the country with my son. Okay. Okay. Which is great. Yeah. Which is great. So what we do is we choose to go into municipalities, meet the people that run the local government, okay. meet the locals, talk to people, maybe get some advice on where to go eat, museums maybe some interesting so like things to do like youtube type documentary type kind of thing or just for your own that's not what i said i'm just i'm, I'm asking is it like that or are you just filming for your own good right we're film what we do is film okay yeah okay and to the best of my knowledge and uh, you know there are restricted areas in this building right. so we don't go into restricted areas but any publicly accessible area of a public building Whatever I can see, I can film. Right. That's the law. I'm letting you know that the head of human resources told me that they asked you guys to leave and not to film. They asked me to leave their office, which we did. Okay. Actually, she didn't even ask me to leave the office. She actually just asked me, she actually didn't even ask me not to film. She just said she didn't feel comfortable being recorded. Okay. So I said, well, that's your choice. You want to be comfortable? You don't want to be recorded? Well, I just have to come here with the information I have. Okay. I'm more than happy to go talk to her and see what the issue is. Well, it's up to you and because, her. Huh? Because I, with you, there's, there's no issue filming. Right. But, if somebody asks you to leave and not to film, then that doesn't create an issue. But I can respectfully but decline. They, they can trespass you as well. No, they can't. You can only trespass me if I break the law, or if I create a disturbance. That's the uh, yeah. And if, and if I'm you, very well versed in the law, sir. How are you guys today? Good. I'm Aaron. Aaron, you're the city manager. I am. You're the guy I was looking for. How are you? Great. Yourself? Very. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. What could I do for you today? So we come. I'll, just explain to the officer here what we're doing. I've explained it to each person that we've spoken to. This is my son. My name's Jason. This is Ben. Jason. So we're traveling. Well, actually, what we did was a few months ago, we decided we were going to try to hit all 50 state capitals. Oh, wow. So three months Great ago. Yeah. Well, not all at once. We're going to take a trip once a month. Okay. So okay. three months ago, we went to Cheyenne. Do you guys want to sit down, by the way? Absolutely. Sure. Love to sit down. You want to go sit in your office? Uh, I actually don't have time to sit down right now, but I, I'm just wondering... Oh, no, but if you want to know what we're doing, I can give you the okay, short okay, version. Okay, okay. Perfect, yeah, perfect. so we want to go to all 50 states, and we're traveling around the country, and what we do is, I said to one of the ladies here, uh, some people like to take pictures of trains, some people like to go to Disney World, some people like to take pictures of birds. We like to go to municipal government, meet the folks that are making the wheels okay. turn, and, you know, maybe get some advice on where to eat, where to stay, what attractions there are in town, what there is sure. to do. It. Never been in Mesquite before. Sure. Sure. Um, but to have somebody call the police on us for coming here to visit your beautiful building, yeah, why would you not want to take pictures of this building? Sure. Well, you know I, what I mean? I so that. I think that's a little bit sure. rude, you know, no, because no. she, she told me she didn't want to be on camera, and I said, see you later. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so. No, I just, I just didn't know. I, I, I mean, you know, the, the, the reality of it is, in a city manager, you should know this, she really doesn't, she's a, she's a public servant working in a public capacity, right? Sure. So... Sure, but I mean, human, human reaction is... Human kind of, reaction, you know, well, yeah, yeah and, yeah, and, no, 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 and human that. reaction is, my human reaction is to respect the fact that she doesn't want to be videoed, and I left her office. Sure, sure. But that calling the police department is, first of all, a waste of resources, because we're not doing anything, we haven't committed a crime, sure, we have no, no intention no, to commit a crime, we're not creating a disturbance <laughs> or anything. Right, right. And then for you to walk in and say, I can't film here, that's giving well, out I'm, bad information. Sure, well, what I was told is they wanted you trespassed, okay? So you can't do that. I just, I, I'm not, this gentleman doesn't I, want me trespassed. I, I, I'm, I'm not concerned about that right now. No, okay. I, I'm just wondering, what, what can I help you with? I mean, you want to come here and you want to see our fair city, and I love it. Right, let me see. I think I had a... So the, that, that part I can, I can help you with. If you want to you know, know a little bit about the community, we can do that as well. Yeah, just That's like totally we were fun. in uh, St. George just a okay. little while ago. Okay. So this is what we do. We go into people's offices and we meet okay. people. Okay. That's all. You know, it's municipalities. Yeah. It's... Yeah. it's 
That's what we find interesting. No, I, I get it. You guys have an interesting hobby, by the way. It is, it is fascinating. Yeah, plus, the, well, the main focus and the main number one thing of the whole thing is I'm spending time with my son. We're traveling the country and we're making memories. So how long have you guys been at this? We started three months ago in Cheyenne. Is that so where you're you, from? No, we live, well, originally I'm from New York, but we live in the Denver area now. So you just... I, you could tell I'm from New York from the accent, I'm sure, right? You, you didn't excuse me. Cheyenne accent. No. No, I no, we took a trip to Cheyenne. We went to that uh, state capitol building. We went to Salt Lake City last month, which is one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen. And now we're heading west. So, so you said you're not doing it all at once? No, once a month trips. Okay, once a month. So for like right. how long? Like a couple of days or four days? We've done trips. Uh, the first one was like five days. This one is 11 days. So it kind of depends. So you're going to be, you're going to hit Carson? Have you hit Carson yet? No, no. Oh, we actually, I, we just pulled into Mesquite half an hour, 45 okay. minutes ago. Okay. So from here, Vegas, then up to Carson? Or are, are you not going to Carson City this week? You know what? What we do is, because there's so many variables, right? So we have an allotted amount of time that we can spend. Okay. And then all the, you know, like they say, you can plan a perfect pic uh, picnic, but you can't predict the weather. So <laughs> you don't know what the weather's going to be. Sure, you don't know what the sure. traffic's going to be. You sure. don't know if somebody's going to get sick. You know, and so what we kind of do is we just get on the road and kind of play it by ear. We know when we have to be okay. back and we get back when we need to be back. Well, we have pretty good weather here. Yeah. You know. Oh, it's cool. I'll tell you what, this is. T-shirt weather works for me, man. So, this is so awesome. If you guys like to golf? We got a number of golf courses. You we saw that. Yeah, lots of um, lots of green grass here. I'm sure you have phones, so you go like yep. visitmesquite.com is a great website to go. It shows all of our tourist amenities. And like, you know what? We do all that. We do our homework and we do our research. But it's not the great. same as coming in and shaking hands and saying I sure. met the city manager and get your sure. card. And then you know, whenever sure. down the road we can look back so, at. It looks the, like you already have it. So I did. I grabbed your card and I grabbed. Uh, the other, who, who else's card did I grab? Was the city manager and the city attorney, maybe? I don't know. It was right next to yours, up on the wall there. Uh, Alan Littman, the mayor. Mayor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, not a, he's yeah. a part time mayor, so he's going to be here. Well, I'm a part time oh. video guy, so I understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I guess so, I'm a part time police officer. So, do you, do you, are you going to school right now, or what do you. Yeah. College, or? Uh, no. I'm he's 16. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you were like a freshman. I was like, cool. Nice, no. nice break. But That's awesome. So and you know, another videographer or what? Yeah, it's it's interesting. Cool. I like that. I did a little video, not any good at it, so that's why I didn't pursue that course in life. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you too now. Okay, now that we've gotten to this point in the conversation, everything I told you was absolutely the truth. Okay. In addition to that, what this is is a First Amendment audit. Okay. Okay. So what we do is we when we go to the municipalities, and we really do. We want to go meet the people and sure. meet the folks. That's the real right. mesquite. You know, you guys here. So we also are testing the fact we come in video, okay, and video our document our experience here and our interactions with the folks here and test whether or not the First Amendment's being honored in your city and whether our right to take video and photographs in public is being honored and respected by the city employees here. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, so far, Tracy was doing phenomenal. I was having a wonderful conversation with Tracy. I wish I could have spoken to her more, but I think when you yeah. walked in, she got a little nervous. Uh, <laughs> she didn't know what we're up and to. That could have been, you know, the information I was given coming here. Okay. Given a limited information. And I'm saying but see, this is why it's important for you to be careful because right. one person mm -hmm. who kind of acts out of sorts could start a whole wildfire and that could turn into, you know, it's very important in police work, as you know, to de-escalate. Right. Right. So that's a pri that's a. It's probably part of your policy, I'm sure, and it's a major right. part of your policy, because once things go up, they tend not to come back down. Right. right. So that's why I I try to remain very cordial, very calm, right. to have a nice demeanor. Oh, yeah. I expect to get what I give. You know what I mean? I I'm respectful to everyone, right. and I expect to right. be right. treated respectfully, and that's what we do. And some right. people will get very upset about a camera and flip out and the word these days is triggered that all the kids sure. use right Bill, how are you? Good, how are you? and then other people I actually um, I think we were in I forget what town we were we go to so many places I can't remember where I was but I actually was about to go into a, an office and I had the city recorder run out and say hey don't you want to come into my office first so some people are like that some right, people right, want totally, to talk to you totally, and, yeah, yep. I can yeah. See that. so I don't know that until I come in and speak right. to you we are very aware of what the law is and what the rules are um, I am very aware of restricted areas and that sort of thing. We don't cross those lines. We right. stay in publicly accessible areas and film. And legally, I had no obligation to not film the ladies in your office. You know, there is no, nothing right. that prevents me legally from doing it. But as a nice guy, they asked me, didn't want to be filmed. So I, what I said to her was, is there anybody else that doesn't mind? So she went to try to find somebody, came back, somebody else came back to the window and said, there's nobody in here that doesn't mind. We all mind.
Right. But I said, okay, that's your choice. If that's how you feel and you don't want to be filmed, I'll leave. So then I came out here. Courtney was extremely, she's a great person to have up at the front in your information good. window. That's good. That's good to hear. Very, very, no, no, she's very, very big uh, smile. And oh, yeah, no, that, and that's how it should be. Right. Because you don't want people to get off the highway and stop in your town to get a bad taste in their mouth. Maybe that person was going to buy a house here down the road. I mean, I don't know. Right. You know what I mean? So just because somebody has a camera in their hand is no cause for alarm. And right. maybe the fact that we're here might inspire you if you so choose to maybe bring that up in a meeting down the road uh, and actually, discuss that with folks yeah, and no, no. yeah well we'll make sure everyone's aware of what what the parameters are and are not right um, cause because I, we uh, go ahead i'm sorry no this is uh, right some people don't feel comfortable and some people do feel comfortable so right. it's like hey these, these, this is what you can do and can't do in those situations. People are happy to come get me. I'm happy to visit with folks. It doesn't bother right. me. Right. I don't look good on a camera, but I'm happy to talk. Well, to I think you look fine. You know what? <laughs> you look good standing up being a good ambassador for your city. You can't look bad doing that. Oh, right? Thanks. No, and you are. You came out with a smile on your face. You're being cordial. You're inquisitive. You want to know what we're doing. I explained myself to you. You're, we're having a nice conversation. That's all it is. But you have to be careful because I'm 50 years old. I've never sued anybody in my life. Okay, and that's not my intention, and we're not, I don't do that. I don't have the time right. to sue anybody. I'd rather be spending the time traveling the country with my son. But had you taken any further steps towards trespass, anything like that, or booting me out of the building or forcing me to leave, you could open your city up to some right. Right. liability, and, and you don't want to do it. I right. want to separate you from them. Well, Tra oh, Tracy and I were getting along great. Right. Tracy was also a one, very wonderful uh, conversation and another great oh, ambassador for your town here. Yeah. yeah. But the ladies in your office got very uptight very quickly. And I don't, you know, I, I, everybody's got a right to feel the way, the way they want to feel. Sure. But to call the police, because you're not a feelings enforcer, you're a law enforcement officer. So if I haven't broken sure. the law, you and I have nothing to talk about. Sure. You know what I mean? No, we, we, to be honest, you're the first person we've had come do this. Okay. That I'm aware of. Okay. And so I'm sure for part of the staff, it was like, <clears throat> Right. I don't know what to do at this moment. This is a weird moment. So it does provide a training opportunity. So I appreciate you bringing that point up. And that's why we and do it's it. It's a great opportunity. That's why we do it. And I always say my, the favorite thing I like to say is rights are like muscles. Okay? And if you don't exercise them, they go away. Oh, okay. That's right? Nice. So what this is, is an exercise of rights. And I think it's beneficial for everybody. Not just for the city hall, but for us as well. Because we always go, you know, somebody says they want somebody trespassed. And so we just acted for the establishment to, you know. And it's coming from the city government. And it's Dude, coming yeah. from the city in which we're employed. Sure, of course. You know, so it, it's, it's good to get out there and learn that the First Amendment's the greatest amendment, essentially. You know, we all have the right it is. to speak our mind. Right. You know, that's why it's the first one. Right. And um, it's beneficial and for it's also. Involved. Right, and it's also beneficial for you to come in and observe and ask a lot of questions and find out what's going on because, you know, like I said before, it could open the city up to something that you don't want to be involved with. Right. That's all. And, you know, not everybody's... These days, it's so crazy. When I was a kid, I'm a little older than you are, um, but when I was a kid, people would see somebody taking video out on the sidewalk and jump in front of the camera and say, hi, mom, and it was this whole thing, and then run away. You know what I mean? That's what But these days, people get so scared of a camera. I don't get what it is. You and can, I... You, you can improve that by YouTube, by the way. <laughs> well, I'm, say it again? No, no, I said you can improve that by the number of videos on YouTube. Oh, well, you know what? This camera... Or TikTok. This camera can't make you look good, and it can't make you look bad. It just memorializes what you choose to do. Right, right. You know what I mean? I can't make you look bad. I can't make you look good. You do what you do, and I, I try, record try it. Try to make me look good. I'm not very... I think, you're, I think you, you let your shoulders down. You have a big smile on your face, and I think we've gotten to a meeting of the minds here, and I think right. you do look good. But I think you almost made a mistake. I, I wasn't going to trespass you without running across the correct... Like you well, said, contact my lieutenant. That's why I said to call your sergeant, because I, I didn't want you to make that I mistake. I wasn't going right. to force you anywhere. Okay. Until, well, I was going to talk to the person who called us as well and see what the real issue is. Okay. Because to me, you guys weren't causing an issue in there. Well, I'll make you guys a deal. If you really want to help me out and you really want to help yourselves out and you really want to make this a beneficial situation, would you be willing to take a walk down there and just let them know that it's okay what I'm doing and then we'll get on the road and leave? Sure. Is that okay? Just because what we do is. I don't know if they want us to. I mean, well, this is the city manager. You can ask so, him if so it's okay. I will say this. That I did have a plague, and they said, I feel, I feel really uncomfortable. So I don't want to put them in that situation again. Okay. I will mention to them my problem. Okay. Give my word. I, I, I will mention it to them, say, hey, it's okay. But I don't want to make them uncomfortable again. Well, you know what? Everything, in, well, sometimes, you know what? Growth is uncomfortable. Right. right. Education is uncomfortable. And every time a, 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 a lobster has to go into his new home, it's uncomfortable for a while, but at the end, it winds up being right. beneficial to everybody, right. right? So that's what we're trying to do. And I just, 
want them to understand that, you know, you could, calling law enforcement, you know, I, I get where you're coming from and I know you're doing your job and that kind of thing, but like I said, when things escalate, it's hard to bring them back down. And for somebody to call the cops on me, and if one person says one wrong thing or one wrong thing happens, it could go to somewhere we don't need it to be and it could become a dangerous situation for somebody where it didn't need to be. And I'm just with my son traveling the country, standing up for the Constitution of the United States, trying to defend all of our rights, which men and women go overseas every day and pay a huge price for our Constitution. And it's a very serious issue and it's very important because that Constitution, that piece of paper is what separates us from every other country in the world. It is. It yeah. is. I haven't lived overseas. I understand the difference. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure you I've, do. I've had my rights, have rights trampled on. I've had police knock on my door. Right. I've been subpoenaed. I've, I've faced things by foreign governments. It's not fun. And I've worked for newspapers. I was actually a staff photographer for the New York Times for oh. a number of years, years ago. Um, my so stuff's been in magazines. and internationally? Domestically. I actually was okay. the photographer for their real estate section oh, okay. for a while. Okay. Um, but I can't tell you. I also did a lot of other things involving photography. I worked for the modeling agency. Uh, top fashion photographers as an assistant, as that kind of thing. Sure. And I've been in situations where my rights have either been attempted to be trampled on or trampled on so many times I couldn't even remember over the past 30 years. So it's not just something I picked up yesterday. Right. You know, that's why we chose video as our venue to express our rights because it has something I've been involved in for a very long time. It's something my son's interested in. Now it's Ben, right? Yeah. Yes. And Jason. Ben and Jason, yep. Okay. Better memory. I, I already <laughs> forgot those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. I was, I was like, okay, okay. So, so Ben, what, what are you looking at career-wise? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. You should not come sure. to Mesquite. I mean, look at this out there. This is beautiful. You should, I, I mean, if, if you guys want, we've got a historic walking tour here. You can film as well. Uh, there's some great sites there. We've got an app. Um, Live Mesquite is what's called. They'll take you around and... You can go see various tour sites there. Okay. Um, if you've got that, if you got an Android or iPhone. Yeah, no, and we are, you know, I'm always looking around because I, I was just saying to Tracy, the older I get, the more I want to move away from big cities. Oh, and I'm um, looking to get more and more like rural. A perfect small community, but still close enough to where you can travel to somewhere if you want to go sightseeing somewhere bigger. Right. But where a community is very tight knit community. I mean, that's why guys like. Our city manager come here, and that's why I came here. Right. You know, it's because it's a community that you don't really feel. I've been in a lot of places, and this is just different. Oh, it's all no, it is. It's awesome. All these little. We were just in St. George, and that was fantastic. We had a wonderful time there. Yep. Uh, we were in Moab before that. That was great. Okay. okay. Yeah, and we actually went to Summit. You know, Summit, Utah. Yeah, hundred hundred and sixty people. Ooh. We went to the post office and it was closed. It's only open two hours a day. <laughs> and the woman that lives next door was out in her front yard. She gave us a tour of her fruit cellar and took us all around the property, told us all the history We're of the area. It was great, yeah. Where's Summit? I don't, I'm not familiar with Summit. Summit is, uh, it's on 70, it's right? It's like right 20 off. minutes away from Cedar City. Okay. He's like, where's Cedar City? <laughs> no, 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 I'm trying to think of where that is. Because actually my family started out there in central Utah. Okay. Um, a couple of generations ago, a small town named Joseph. Yeah, we passed yeah, Joseph. Right. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, saw the sign yeah, for yeah, Joseph. I, I yeah. passed Joseph. You're on the 70s. I'm trying to think where somebody is in relation to that. They lived there. They were miners and farmers. Right. Um, yeah, no, it's. I think it's fascinating. But they, they, they had to follow the work, so uh, they ultimately had to move to the Salt Lake area. Cool. So they, they yeah, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they kind yeah. of ran dry over there. So. Yeah. That's no, but this is awesome. I mean, we just got it. This building is beautiful. You have that statue out there. It's great. Yeah. That was the first thing I took have a you picture been to the of. Museum? We just got here less than an hour ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So just kitty corner from here, you can see kind of a rust looking building. That's the Fine Arts okay. Center right there. And right next to it's the museum. All right, cool. Um, it's just here on the. Actually, we're right here. Um, and then the, the Fine Arts Center is right there. And then there's the museum. Okay. Store. So actually, excuse me, right there. Sorry, I'm pointing the wrong. Door. That's the you know what's the most important? There's two most the two most important things I always want to know when I go to a municipality is where can I get a good dinner, and yeah. where can I get a good cup of coffee? Those are the two most yeah. important things yeah. I'm worried about. When okay, I'm so what, how much are you looking to spend for dinner? Uh, not a lot, but not, you know, decent. Yeah. Middle of the road. So, um, do you like burgers? Because like right across sure. the street, they got yeah. a great burger right there. Um, what's the name of the place? Golden West. Golden West. Okay. Maybe we'll check that out. Go, go to the best but I think you town. have. I think you have to be twenty one to go inside. Oh, you do? Because it's like all bar. And oh, I got so you. Okay. Maybe, maybe they have maybe you can a wait in the car. <laughs> serving area where, you, but I know on the door before you walk in it says it must be twenty one. 
Gotcha. Oops. Okay. Bad recommendation. There. Yeah. yeah. And, then I would show up. and then I would show up. <laughs> then you would show up. Oh, you know what? That brings up another question. I left this in the car, right? We're holding Curry State. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, though. When you when there's a sign on a door, well, because I have a uh, Colorado license, uh, but which you don't honor here. There's no reciprocity with Nevada. So I can open carry, but I can't right. conceal carry, right? So, like, for example, if I go into uh, DMV or here and it says no concealed firearms, does that mean you can still open carry, you just can't conceal, or is it cover that's both? A, that's a good question. So, so I, that's why I erred on the side of caution just leave it in the car. Right. And that's, yeah. well, that's the smart thing to do? Just to Not for me. Well, <laughs> it's the smart exactly. thing to do for everybody right. else. Uh, <laughs> luckily for me, I, you know, but... Um, that's a very good question, and that's another question that I'd have to reach out to and ask. Okay. Because we are open carry, and you can, but there's businesses that don't want you to carry. And are those when when you have a sign on a business that says no firearms, do, is that enforced by law? Because like in Colorado, f private business has a sign up that says no firearms. That's not enforced by law. That's that's the business's choice. That's and that's the yeah, thing. and it's we, the, it's the person going in. You wouldn't charged with the firearm. However, that business could trespass you from there. And then if you refuse to leave, that's a whole nother, leave, right. Then you can be arrested for trespasses. But so if, if you walk into somewhere with one of those signs and they ask you to leave and you just turn around and leave, then there's no, no harm, no foul. Essentially, from my understanding. Okay. All right, good. See, it's good to bring up these questions right. because even at 50 years old, I'm still learning something old every day, you know? And I say something old because my grandfather used to say you learn something old every day because it's only new to you. Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to educate myself as well. And I think that, you know, also, as far as you're concerned, I'm sure you're well aware that in this country these days, there's a huge divide growing between law enforcement and the citizenry. So part of what we're doing is trying to close that gap by dialogue and open communication and discussion and trying to understand each other. And if you get a better understanding of me and I get a better understanding of you and we have a meeting of the minds and we all walk away from that in that situation, then that's a good day as far as I'm concerned. No, I... I completely agree yeah you know? and what you're doing is is not only you know it just makes for better officers it makes for better citizens right because then people understand I but mean, I, I be a better officer walking away from this so I appreciate it and I'll be more you know, informed walking so, away from it myself and I appreciate that as well and so yeah. I mean ultimately that's all we want is human beings is to grow every day and be better at what we do and just to be fair I understand that when you first walked in here you got a call from the city you didn't know what we were doing and that's where you were operating from right. yeah so I understand that I get that well I appreciate it yeah no not at all so. yeah. well thanks guys appreciate all right see things sometimes don't judge a book by its cover right oh, sometimes whatever. things yeah we're the bearded guys so I'm yeah hey we and, and actually not only were the bearded guys we could trade beard same color man yeah, that's, no, yeah. It's, it is. Unfortunately, I probably have a little more gray. You ever need a hair or two? Just give me a fall, you know. I can. <laughs> Mine's a little darker still. So. Hey, you get, you'll get there. <laughs> or, or you gonna there, get there's there? A few, there's a few. Grits you'll you'll you'll, right. you'll earn your stripes sooner or later. <laughs> this, my head's already earned them. So as, as long as it stays away from the beard for a while, I'll be happy. Oh. Well, all right. I'll ask you this then, since we don't want to bother those ladies because they felt uncomfortable. Tracy was completely comfortable with me filming, sure. and she was completely comfortable having a conversation. And I think we spooked her a little bit with you walking in. So, okay. can we just let Tracy know that it's okay? Absolutely, sure. And if, just if she's up for that. I'm, yeah, I'm she's okay. Up for it. Oh, I think the only issue she had was you coming in. Right. We were, we were having, a, yeah, we were having that. a great conversation at first. Right. Yeah. How are you? I don't know. You tell me. They're, they're just, uh, <laughs> talking to city workers and no, nope, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're long retired. <laughs> all right, Tracy, we got it all straightened out. Uh -huh. Thank you. All. So, Tracy, it's just fine for you to visit with these gentlemen if uh -huh. you'd like. They said you were happy and pleasant, so yep. you're more than welcome. You were your normal size. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. good. Tracy was wonderful. I think Tracy's an excellent ambassador for your city, and I think she deserves all the praise you can give her. Thank no, you. really. No, you're very knowledgeable and you have a wonderful smile. You know what? When somebody comes off the interstate and comes into a municipality like this, you have no idea what a difference it makes when you get a cordial welcome and a smile. It's just oh, nice. Absolutely. You know, yeah, it we is. We try and you did. You did. And so did you. Yeah. So. Which we try not to be the, the typical bureaucrat that people envision in their mind. of. No, not a, well, I don't get that from you at all. And even the officer here, I understand completely where he was coming from. He's doing his job and trying to protect the, the fine folks in Mesquite here. And I get that. And that's all. it's all good. So I just wanted you to know that it's okay what we're doing. I didn't want you to be spooked or upset by what was going on. No, I think I could take it in. Okay. And then <laughs> I also, Aaron, Aaron? Yeah, Aaron. Aaron so, that's my backup, okay? <laughs> no, no problem. Yeah, yeah, good. He's my backup, too. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's a bad backup. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Aaron, I filled Aaron in on what we're doing as far as the Constitution, all that kind of stuff. So maybe you can let Tracy know after we leave and just oh, sure, fill her in and sure. let her know what actually, I'll, I'll actually bring up with the whole staff. Excellent. I appreciate it that. Is, I, I think it is something that needs to be brought up so people uh, are aware. Good. Excellent. The situation, what they, what they can do. Okay. So it was a fruitful visit yes, for all of us. Much so. Excellent. Much so. All right. Well, yeah. Aaron, Thank I appreciate you. you very much, sir. Jason. Thanks. Yes. That's it. You got it. Thank you, guys. Tracy, you've been wonderful. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Traveling across the USA. What an opportunity to be with your dad, by the way. I can't tell you how much I would. It's the same opportunity for me. I'll tell you. I would love to like that. Well, I lost my father 26 years ago. Mine was 25. So a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So it never, never goes away. You know. Yeah. So. You gotta build the mat. You gotta do these things while you can. Enjoy while you can. And I got a wonderful kid. Be safe. We will. Right. Thank you so much, guys. Right back at you. All right, I'll walk out first because I know you guys like to take up the caboose. <laughs> I'm so. You know what? I'm really seriously. I'm very happy that we're all leaving with smiles and we got to this point of the conversation. It's very beneficial. Like I said, not only for me as law enforcement. You know, I usually show up and the person that calls me, I'm ready to do what it is that. You know, they're requesting, especially when it's a city that I work for. Of course. You know, so sure. it's super beneficial to have this conversation. Of course. I appreciate I it. Agree. And I agree. And I think it's something that we can take back and let the guys at the department know, like, certain areas you're just allowed to have the First Amendment. Right. I mean, and that's that's great. It is very important because, like I said, you know, yeah, you don't, don't want to use your... Which way you guys are going. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll wander around for a minute well, and look I'm, at... I'm going to walk out this way, but where did you guys say you were from? You're from New York, but you were... New York originally. Now we live Colorado. in the Denver area. Colorado. Yeah. Right. Yep. All right. All right. No, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll have to get you a, Yan a Yan Oh, I thought that was Detroit Lions. Oh, I, I was going to say you're from New York and you need Yankees. Right? Yeah, oh, he's got them. <laughs> he's got them, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. you won't be able to forget the last name. Nope, you not know? at all. No, and we appreciate you, man. And, I, you know, I'm like, again, I'm just glad everything worked out the way it did. And nope, me too. Yeah, and yeah. Feel free to do what you guys are going to do. All righty. So I'm not going to go with you, but you'll go speak to those folks and let them know everything's I mean, in. I can. I have parked back here. Yeah, I won't go with you to film them, but if you don't mind going and just letting them know. All right, go ahead and subscribe to them. I got some press. Thank you, Officer All Ruth. Right. We appreciate you. And you have a wonderful day. Thanks, Ben. All righty. Take care. Nice. See, everything, all's well that ends well, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah. So, all righty. Thanks. Take care, Courtney. Thank you. Well, all right, guys. Um, I would have to say that was that was fantastic. Um, that was great. As I always say, um, we look forward to hearing what you have to say in the comments. But I think that we uh, actually had an excellent conversation with the officer and the city manager here today. Um, Tracy and the other people that work here that were willing to speak with us were wonderful. And I think uh, I don't think that the uh, two ladies in the city manager's office should give a black eye to the city for that. I think uh, we just caught them unprepared. They didn't uh, know why we were there. They didn't understand what we were doing and uh, just got a little nervous about it or a little apprehensive. So I can understand that. And the city manager has assured us that he will uh, definitely bring this up or have a meeting about it and educate these folks. And Officer Ruth is also going to go back to the police department and see if he can speak with uh, his higher ups and maybe get some additional training for the officers or at least have conversations about it and discuss what the uh, situation is with uh, taking video and photographs in public. So I think this was a very uh, fruitful visit and I think it went very well. Uh, but again, you'll let us know in the comments. And also, if you enjoy these videos and you like what we do, we ask you to click the like button and share our videos with anybody you want to if you so desire. Uh, it helps our channel out tremendously and won't cost you a penny. And um, beyond that, if you feel like subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell and hit all. That way you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. You won't miss anything. So uh, please feel free to do the same for watching The Watchman if you like. He just hit 14,000 subscribers today. Very proud of him and he's doing a great job. Uh, does a great thing putting his videos together. He's got maps and edits and zooms and information and all kinds of stuff you won't see on my videos. So check him out. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And that's it. So that's going to wrap it up for the Mesquite, Nevada City Hall here today. Uh, we're going to hop back in the truck and uh, we have another stop to make down the road. And um, that's it. So coming to you from Mesquite, Nevada, watching The Watchmen. I'm against the press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out. <laughs>